Welcome to Yinghua Girls School's 115th anniversary musical, The Nightingale. I'm Ashling. And I'm Sabrina. We'd like to welcome our honorable guests, IMC members, patrons and sponsors, and the School Redevelopment Pro Project committee members. Without your support to Yinghua's redevelopment project, this musical would not have been possible. And with all your kind donations and contributions, our school has raised over two million dollars. That's amazing. I know, right? <laughs> That's a groundbreaking figure. All the proceeds will go to our school redevelopment projects. And with your generous support, Yinghua will continue taking strides in carrying out our education mission in the 21st century. Here we'd also like to thank our alumni, teachers, parents and friends for your unwavering support to the school. This year is not just celebrating Yingwa's 115th anniversary, but it's also our principal, Mrs. Lee's last year of service in Yingwa. She has served the school for 14 years wholeheartedly and led us into new frontiers. With her belief in providing the best for all Yingwa girls, she answered God's call to embark on the redevelopment journey like Moses leading the Israelites out of Egypt by faith. Thank you, Mrs. Lee. Thank you for your dedication and hard work. We wish you a happy and wonderful retirement. To unite our hearts and souls for Yingwa, let's sing our school song. The lyrics are printed on page seven of the program. Please rise. Yingwa fill in this auditorium? Yeah, I can feel the sense of unity in this big family. I also love the beautiful tune. Then you must love our musical, as you're about to listen to many more gorgeous melodies. I can't wait. Now on with the show. Just sit back and enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, we present you The, the Nightingale. Nightingale. Thank you. 
right at the heart of the kingdom. I sure can hear it, Pump. Is your own heart beating, silly? Your heart doesn't matter. We are the narrators of this story, which is said in this glorious kingdom. On one side is a palace gleaming white, but on the other side is the gray zone, which supplies the needs for the rest of the kingdom. As the needs grow, its heart is burdened more and more. It pumps in greed and pumps out waste. The whole place is enveloped in a gray mist, and people work and work till they are consumed by despair. All these in the name of the kingdom's progress. <clears throat> This is where our story begins. It begins with a boy in the gray zone dreaming of escape, and a girl from the palace dreaming also of escape. And between them, a songbird. Bird? Did they say bird? It's Arakil, right? Bird? No, not you two. We mean the nightingale. Who doesn't need to escape? And, And birds. birds. Maybe except from them. We, Ju, Chen, Fan. Our job is to narrate the tale to you. So without further ado, let's assume the role of the diplomats traveling far and wide to this kingdom of great beauty in Arcanus to attend the emperor's birthday party. Taifu, take these out and give them a good wash. Another stack. Ginger, hurry! Oh, right, chef. If my parents were still alive, I would be. Playing in the fields, not washing shrouds and digging graves. If I hadn't taken care of you after they went, you would have starved and died on the street. I know. Dream, dream, dream. That's what you do the whole day long, lazy boy. Better to take care of the dead bodies than being one typhoon. Haven't you heard? Haven't you heard? There's a big reward. I bet it's the usual thing. Rhino horns, mammoth tusks. He's into these things. Or maybe some strange delicacies. Pig intestine. Ew. Ew. Next, pig ears. No more now. When can we have shoe mai? Eat, eat, eat. That's all you ever think of. That's what everyone thinks of, right? See, don't make a fool of yourself. You're working in the palace. Have some grace. Don't worry about that. One day I'll be picked to be one of the emperor's court ladies. Goodbye to those awful pig ears. Oh, did you say pig ears? I have a jar of soy sauce stocked already for fifty years. I'll present my very own pig ears to the emperor. I'll stay from the palace kitchen. What did they say? What does the emperor like? Pigtails. Oh, <laughs> silly people! If that contained the reward, I would have been working in the palace for all these years. Why didn't you become a court lady? Not everyone dreams of being cooped up in a room just to be picked by His Majesty. Well, at least I get fed, and I. Those chickens in the pen get fed pretty well too. What happens next? Another dish on the plate. You girl, you'll end up on someone's dish if you don't have more common sense. But, but there's a reward. I may be able to get away from here. Reward? You can sit and think for a hundred years, and you won't think of a way to please His Majesty. Your reward is not going to come out with a big bang. But if we stay here, we'll die. We'll die anywhere. I'm not scared. I'm in the funeral business. They say. I say we're going back to the palace. <gasps> Did you say the palace, madam? What now? Oh, um, you're. We are the diplomats. We were invited to your emperor's birthday banquet. Oh, come this way. Everyone's talking about a reward. What's that? Whoever can present the most impressive birthday gift to the emperor will be rewarded. To us, this seems like the golden ticket to get out of the gray zone. You mean you can just leave this place if you want to? No one can leave without an exit permit from Sharpay. So the moment you're born here, you're doomed. Can you take my girl to the palace? She's very obedient. I can't. I already have a whole league of them in the kitchen. Please. 
She can do all sorts of chores. It's her only chance. Oh! 